What's up everyone? In this video, we're going to be discussing why the Kansas City Northland is the next big thing in real estate. And if you're looking to buy, invest, or just understand what's fueling the absolute excitement up here in the Northland, this video is for you. We're going to be discussing some of the economic growth aspects, the infrastructure projects coming up, hidden investment opportunities, and why Northland properties are skyrocketing in demand. If this is your first time to my channel, let me introduce myself. I am Big Mike, and I'm a local Kansas City real estate agent specializing here in the Kansas City Northland area. And if you are looking to make a move to the area, feel free to reach out to me. I do this for my full-time job. So without further ado, let's explore some of the trends hidden opportunities that the Kansas State Northland has to offer. So first on this list is the economic growth and the job creation the Northland has. So just recently, we got announced as the second fastest growing economy in the entire United or in the Midwest. And the Northland is actually at the center of this boom. From the 1 billion KCI terminal upgrade to the Panasonic battery plant to Meta getting established up here in the Northland and, and even Google. So the Northland's proximity to major employers is absolutely the factor that it's growing so quickly from the Ford assembly plant over here in Clay Como, And then also the uh, Oracle plant just spaced around the old Cerner. And these are expanding and there's jobs being created left and right in the techs and logistics worlds. And these two are just a couple of the forefronts. So the growth is driving demand for both housing and commercial opportunities in the area. Now, investors are starting to take note and the Northland's combination of job growth and affordable, affordable housing is a huge draw also for young professionals, families, and even corporate relocation clients looking to avoid the rising costs of other parts in the, in the Metro. Number two on this list is the massive infrastructure investment opportunities. So, as of 2023, the KCI terminal actually just got completed, and it's one of the biggest factors the Northland is absolutely exploding as far as equity build. Now, Kansas City has turned into a regional travel hub with major improvements to the air traffic control area, attracting more business mindset people that need quick access to the airport. On top of that, the I-29 corridor improvements, these improvements are just undergoing upgrades and will be going until 2025. These improvements will make commuting from the Northland to downtown even easier for Northland residents, mainly for the new airport that has came in. On top of that, we got our very own streetcar extension coming up here in the Northland and this is going to be connected even more the Metro to the Northland by 2025. This means easier access to people from the Northland to go in downtown, which is an absolute huge selling point for professionals looking to escape the city without sacrificing the convenience that you, you so desire. So infrastructure improvements like these are rare opportunities as these projects are completed. Property values near these upgraded routes are going to appreciate making now a smart time to buy in the Northland before prices climb even higher. <clears throat> Number three on this list is the affordable housing with all the new developments the Northland has to offer. So the Northland offers a, a mix of a lot of different developments going on right now. Well-established neighborhoods like Shoal Creek Valley are exploding and then Tiffany Green's also exploding and they're seeing new phases be add on and options for everyone from first time home buyers to those seeking luxury amenities. Now you also get the affordable luxury options that so many desires. From neighborhoods like Seven Bridges and Benson Place, they're actually expanding for, to the affordable luxury home style of areas. Now, these communities offer features like golf courses, walking trails, and community pools at prices that are still a steal compared to other luxury markets in the city. And then on top of everything, the multifamily and mixed-use developments with more professionals and families moving to the area, the Northland's seeing just phenomenally quick growth and the multifamily developments in the mixed-use communities, especially like areas like Zona Rosa and the airport, are introducing even more options for renters and investors looking to take advantage of the high demand and affordable entry points. So if you're an investor or a first-time home buyer, now is the time to get in before these areas mature even more than what we've seen. The Northland's housing market is only appreciating and new developments and mixed-use projects continue to just rise to the occasion. Now, the unique investment opportunities that I hit on that last point. While everyone may be paying attention to the single-family residential properties, the Northland's commercial real estate is absolutely booming, but quietly. 
Now, with KCI's expansion, its proximity to major highways, the Northland is attracting logistics hubs from office spaces geared towards professionals who want shorter commutes to just general warehouse spaces that's looking to capitalize on the new found KCI people coming in. And then on top of everything, the new mixed-use developments near Briarcliff Village, for example, are, are something that you need to keep note of. There are also these mixed-use developments popping up, particularly um, just high-end residential units with office and retail spaces. And these are perfect for professionals wanting to live, live, work, and play in the same area, offering both convenience and premium lifestyle. So... If you are an investor of some sorts, commercial spaces along I-435 and near KCI are prime real estate right now. And these areas are seeing demand from both local businesses and out-of-state companies looking to set up for high growth, affordable market for the years to come. Now, here's just a few of the pr future proofing with long-term and growth potential that I was mentioning. So we got a couple and one is Greenline KC and... It's an enhanced multimodal transportation area. So as Kansas City invests in sustainable development, the Northland is actually benefiting from projects like the Green Line KC, which if you don't know, it's a 10-mile urban trail loop around downtown that's expected to expand into the Northland, creating green spaces and bike-friendly routes that increase property values all throughout. On top of that, we got the South Loop Project's and why it impacts the Northland so much. So although the South Loop is downtown, its impact on the Northland cannot be ignored. So by 2026, this massive project will bring five acre of urban park to the city center, enha enhancing downtown's appeal and drawing more professionals to the metro area. This means more people will be looking to the Northland for suburban living closer to the downtown amenities. On top of all of what I just said, the long-term property appreciation. So for buyers and investors, the Northland offers something rare, long-term growth potential. With major projects and infrastructure upgrades already in motion, properties here are set to appreciate significantly in the upcoming years. So if you're looking for a strong investment for a growing market, the Northland's future-proofing through green spaces, improved connectivity, and economic growth make it the ideal place to buy now and just watch your property values ever so increase year after year. So there you have it. Why Kansas City's Northland is the next big thing in real estate from economic growth to infrastructure upgrades to affordable luxury housing and unique investment opportunities. The Northland has everything to make your investment smart. Once again, my name is Big Mike. I'm a local Kansas City real estate agent specializing here in the, the Kansas City Northland area. Feel free to reach out to me night or day if you'd like to get connected with me. And as always, I, I hope you drop at least a like on the video. If you found any little bit of value, it helps me get found by other people. And I would so greatly appreciate it. But as for me and what I got going on, Big Mike is out.